This is a detailed guide on how to get the shovel in Sons of the Forest. I'm going to make sure we have, leave no stone unturned so you don't miss any details and make sure you can actually get this thing. So you're going to need the rebreather and the rope gun. I have detailed guides on how to get each of those in the description of this video. But the TLDR version of that is look at the GPS uh, in my hand. And this is the side of the mountain that you crash on at the beginning of the game. At the top, there's a cave by the coast. That one has the rebreather. And then over here, you see towards the top of the screen, there's a cave uh, icon on the GPS next to a green dot. And that one has the rope gun. Now, if you want detailed videos on how to get those, then check out the description. Anyway, the one that I'm on top of right now, you see my little arrow on top of it. This one has the shovel. You'll come here, and there's also some loot out here. There's some uh, cash on uh, right there. There's some cloth over there. You see these, you'll see the three bodies there at the end of the river. Grab those things. And now we're going to go into here, and I'm going to show you to do this. Now, you're gonna, this is actually a pretty tough cave compared to the previous two. Uh, I'm going to equip the axe so I can break this open. And in my case, I'm going to use a flashlight because it illuminates better. And while you can do it without a flashlight, I'm going to do it with a flashlight so you guys can see what's going on better because torches suck for seeing what's going on. All right. So now we're going to go through here. And then we're going to go up to here. Because we have the rope gun, we can zip line on this. And then we're going to go down here and then turn left. There will be water over here. And also before I go in this water, I want to make sure you know how to equip this thing. So the rebreather, if you have it, it will be over here and you just left, left click on it here in order to wear it and you'll see at the bottom of your screen that you have it equipped. Then you'll go into the water and just follow this underwater passage. It goes down right here. And then right here it wraps under this rock. And from here it's pretty straightforward. Now, in uh, the previous videos, in there was how to get the rebreather, which is the one we're using right now. Or not the rebreather, the rope gun. How to get the rope gun. Uh, there's a part where you get two time bombs, and you only have to use one. So if you still have that other one, it's really going to come in handy at the end of this, and you'll see what I mean. If you just have a time bomb in general, that's fine, too. So I want to get my stamina back really fast before I go further, because there should be... There might be... Yeah, there's enemies up here. Now I'm going to just run past all the enemies. And then we're going to slide down the world's biggest slip and slide. So I don't know how you don't get injured here in real life. I feel like there's no way you wouldn't get injured sliding down something like that. So then once you go through here, just immediately get up on these rocks. And you can look around at this room if you want. But the main thing that we're trying to do is come over to this well-illuminated place over here. There's a ton of loot for you to grab here. And you definitely should because this is the only freebie loot you're going to be getting here. Now, if you do plan on killing all the enemies, then obviously there's a lot of other loot for you to get as well. But this is the only loot that's going to be easy to get. So now we're going to go through here. I'm going to manage my stamina as best I can to keep it up. And then we're going to run into this room. And this room, I'm going to grab some stuff off the ground really fast. Try not to get hit. And then just keep going and turn right. And my flashlight battery is running low, which is fine, though, because we're running up on a really well-illuminated room. So... Right through here is going to be this well-illuminated room. Now, there's a bunch of loot in here, but the problem is there's tons of enemies. So, um, just grab that flashlight. That's the main thing. Flashlight attachment. And then just try to run through this and make it to the back of the room. And hopefully don't die to all of this stuff. And then just run straight through. Keep going. I'm probably being chased. No, I'm not. Okay, I am being chased. All right. We're going to head all the way back into here. And back here is some water. So I can get in the water. And then I should, in theory, be safe. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to stop for a second to show you that there's a bunch of money right here. So don't miss this money. Okay. I'm going to grab all that. Now, I actually need him to leave. So I think he left. So hopefully, I don't get conked in the head. I really got to pop some meds. If you got injured, you definitely want to pop some meds now. And then I want to... Uh, Repair. I want to add more batteries to the flashlight. Now, this is specific to my case because my flashlight battery is about to run low. Uh, and now, the time bomb. I'm going to equip it right here because I'm going to need it. It's going to make my life way easier. If you don't have it, you can still just you can still probably get away without it. You can probably, you know, just run up and grab the shovel and get away with it. Um, but, uh, I'm actually just curious what's over. Okay, there, sorry. Getting distracted. Okay. But uh, the time bomb makes it way easier. So we're going to get our stamina back before submerging or before breaching, I mean. And now the hard part, we got to run through some tight quarters with a ton of enemies. And also, we got to throw a time bomb. Um, we got to throw a time bomb with enemies chasing us. So that's super sketchy. 
So right up here, you'll see these guys. I'm gonna chuck a time bomb over there, and then I'm just gonna kind of run around until it explodes. So that will kill all these guys. And then I can go up here, and I can grab the shovel. Now, this is actually a dead end, and there's no way to get out of here. So generally, uh, I, I mean, maybe there's some other way out, but what I usually do is just grab all the stuff right here and then just let these guys kill me. And I mean, every time I've ever had them kill me, it just puts me back at the start of the cave. So after you die like that, then um, it will kick you out into one of these situations. And then you just hold eat a you know, knife out of this, whatever this is. And then maybe there's another way out of the cave, but I actually couldn't find one. Maybe there's like a small narrow passage somewhere in the room before or something. But either way, if I mean, this just works, you just do that. Maybe on the harder difficulty that I don't let you, I'm not sure. Uh, well, either way, uh, make sure to pick up your backpack before you leave. And then after that, uh, now we'll have the shovel. So I'm going to head out of here and then I'm going to show you what the shovel does. The shovel's actually really cool. So we're going to get out of here and I'm going to equip this shovel. So the shovel, I actually don't remember where it is. Okay, it's right here. Equip the shovel. So I decided to just come back to my base real fast to show you how the shovel works. So the way that the shovel works in Sons of the Forest is it lets you dig literally anywhere. But the catch is the surface like soil that you can dig is not very deep. Uh, so you can only dig down like a teeny bit. So you can't really use it to change building foundations or anything. Because once you go down just a little bit, you'll just hit rock and it'll do this. Uh, so the main thing that it's meant for is treasure hunting. Where if you just dig random holes everywhere, you'll randomly find stuff. I found uh, just a moment ago, I found coins. I found uh, canned food. Yeah, it was this. I found canned food. And I also found a watch so far by just digging random holes, basically. So it's a great way to generate random resources. Assuming it's repeatable, which I assume that it is. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Um, and also, it's, if you want small rocks, it's a great way to generate small rocks. Now, I've also seen or heard things about how it might be used to find certain cave entrances. And I'm not familiar with that as of yet, but when I become familiar with it, I'm sure I'll probably make videos about it. But the main purpose of this video was to show you how to get the shovel and how to get out of the cave too. I saw lots of stuff that explained how to get the shovel, but then they didn't explain what happens next. Uh, so I wanted to cover that and I also just wanted to show you what the shovel is for in basic terms. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. So also if this video helped you, check out the description of this video because I have other helpful Sons of the Forest videos in the description. And also if this video helped you and you want to help me, then you can support me by checking out a game that I'm making on Steam called Art Gallery Simulator. And there's a link for that in the description of this video as well. But I hope this video helped you guys. Now you know how to get the shovel and what it's used for, generally speaking, in Sons of the Forest.